You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. This is a case of Nazarene versus Rami. Thank you. You're welcome. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Ms. Nazarene, uh, you are here today to sue your ex-boyfriend, Mr. Rami, for being an absentee father and a deadbeat dad. You say he has caused you and your two children much pain and suffering by never stepping up as their father. Mr. Rami, uh, you claim Ms. Nazarene has done immeasurable damage to your life and career by her very difficult personality. Ms. Nazarene, when did your relationship with Mr. Rami begin to sour? Okay, our relationship began to sour when I became pregnant and... Things um... were soured long before that. Um, she's not the most easy person to deal with. There are definitely signs that were before she got pregnant. When you say she's not the easiest person to get along with, what do you mean specifically? Complete irrationality. Um... <laughs> The decision to be overtly angry, volatile, and violent for things that I consider to be less than important. <laughs> like um, rape. Very verbally and physically abusive. Is that true, Ms. No, no, it's absolutely not true. He and I have had one incident where he stole uh, $500 from me and had me and my baby in a car that w had a steering column that fell. Okay, so for the time that we were together, we were artists, and I was young, he was young, and he was my best friend. We tried to reconcile, he never. To this day, he's not kept a job. This man has spent 17 and 15, almost 16 years, ignoring his children while trying to pursue a rap career, okay? That's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. Not trying to pursue his GED, not trying to get a high school diploma, not trying to go to college. I put myself 90 hours, 90 units through college raising three children on my own. I've always done hair. I've always worked, okay? This man does nothing, nothing. Mr. Rami, is any part of this that she's saying true? Uh, the fact that we might have some children together and <laughs> that we spend a short period of time enjoying each other's company. Outside of that, can't really co-sign anything else. What level of effort have you put forth to take care of the children? Well, first of all, she decided to move to the other side of the country without talking to me about it. Have you provided steady support? Well, it depends on what steady is. No, I haven't sent a check every two weeks. No, I haven't. But when I've had a job, I have sent help. You Whenever have... she's hit me up and asked for money, Everyone, if I was able yes, to yes. Every help. Every once in a while, he sent absolutely. $100. Yes, oh, absolutely. Over the past 17 and 16 years, he paid child support when he was with his um, ex-second wife. OK, baby so mama. being a father goes beyond just financial support. You know that. Right. How about the emotional support? What well, about that? Well, if she wouldn't have taken my children to Georgia from Los Angeles, where we had them, I would have been there. OK, so oh. what, what happened to me being seven months pregnant with a one-year-old and you were gone for three years? <laughs> Truth be told. There was an incident. I was asked to bring the car to her because she had Messiah with her. Can you bring the car to Tarzana from Los Angeles? I tell her, no problem. I would love to do that for you. So, um... <laughs> actually, what's funny is... I'll tell you this story because it's more recent. I have a list tell of... Tell me I have something. A, I have a list of text tell messages. Me just to give you an example... <laughs> just to give you an example of what I've had to deal with. Um, my brother's oldest child and only son just died. He just turned 21, died on his, um, in his birthday month. And I also called you when you told during, me that to let you know I had a $700 electric bill and your son needed to go to summer time, school so that he could graduate on time. During so that time... So I don't time, care about your brother's son. You don't care about your own son. Why would I care about your brother's son? Keep it 100. Keep it 100. So during this time, she sends a list of text messages saying, that it's nice to know that we care about the dead more than the living. Yeah, let the dead and bury she, the dead. I said it, and I and mean it. Now, are these the text messages that you submitted to the court? Yes. Can you read them to me? I and I mean I every last one of them. We are sure happy to know your sorry, trifling family cares more about the dead than the living. And I will never forgive you, monsters. You will get exactly what you evil people deserve. Pixie I ain't down playing. I'm not. You trying to make me lose my youth because you're a deadbeat. I'm ready to smash you monsters. Your family does not care about us because we're too black skinned. You have to be a big fat yellow hoe to get love and, I mean it. and care. And that's the truth. Ms. Nazarene, those words were pretty harsh. And I meant every one of them. Weren't they in reference to them burying 
a young person? Did you say 21 years no, old? No, they were the not first in grandchild. Reference. No, yes. they were not in re what they were in response to. I had talked to him a week before that. On the, I talked to him, and he told me that he was going to help me get my son um, in summer school, which he has not, which my son has not been able to take summer school, and help me pay some bills. But see, what and I'm he hearing from you, Miss Nazarene, and look, take this from me because I mean it earnestly. If you want this man to be involved in his kid's life, you've got to sometimes, at least sometimes, present yourself as a person that somebody would want to be around. Okay, I mean, well, I, I, well, you're okay, a beautiful well, lady, well, and, 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 I'm, no, 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 I'm keeping it real with you. He doesn't there need to be is around no me. way you can send a text me. message about somebody burying uh, 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 that someone was that's not a what child. the message was about. You the message accuse was about them of caring more they about do. a dead child than a living they child. They care about all of those that children wasn't because they're unnecessary. Like the that that, that wasn't a necessary comparison. Okay, the listen, story. listen, listen. That wasn't a necessary comparison. And let me tell you something really real. You stooping too low because you're not a dumb lady. Oh, I know. You I'm are hurt. You, what I'm saying to you is, you are not stooping to the lowest of low because what you really are is hurt. And I'm trying to tell you right now, the court is trying to tell you right now that it's okay to just say, that hurt me. If they needed to bury this child, well, fine. Then you deal with him on the level of your children on a different day. But and you got to be did. a big enough woman to I let did. the family do that. Okay, and I did. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Mr. Rami. Yes, ma'am. When you stand here, there is a little smirk and the body language is a little sarcastic. I'm having trouble trying to digest why you're so cavalier. As we speak about little people that you have made, Oh, I've never uh, tried to act like I was anything other than what I am, which what is... What are you? A loser. <laughs> a loser. No, I'm being honest. He and says he's me. being... I, I want him to tell me. I am a writer. Um, and so am I. And, and I still do hair, and I still work. She made her decision to be with me with that information. <laughs> really? Okay. Now, I've never acted like I was going to go get a job that was going to provide me with a raise and with upward mobility so I can be somebody that's making $100,000 a year. My personal opinion is the fact that we can make this happen. A whole lot of people live very well, modestly, and are able to raise children. Now, you can't do that when you're dealing with somebody that's completely irrational. <laughs> now, look, I can't irrational. do it. The reason that it all really fell apart, if you want to know, I was taking the car out to Tarzana. Um, I mean, even if you look at this, if I you look at... I wish this car would go somewhere. Listen. What happened? I, I would like to finish if yeah, I don't get interrupted me. over and over again. Tell me. Um, I take the car out there. When I drop it off... Why did uh, you get the car? She Ms. decides Nazarene, to... if I don't find out what's wrong with this car <laughs> and what's wrong with you two, I cannot help get this thing better, okay? Yes, ma'am. Where it's did the car the go? Car. It's not yeah, about the car Tell me what happened. So when I take the car there, she wants to have a discussion with me. She wants to yell and argue with me. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going through that anymore. So I tell her that I'm leaving. At this point, I'm living with my parents. Not quite sure how she heard my statement of I'm leaving, but she decided to punch me in the face. Lie. That's okay. a lie. And That's a lie. after she punched <laughs> me in the face, the exact quote, I'll never forget it, which was, hit me. He's a liar. So the bottom line is, is this term After physical this... from your perspective? You're denying all of this. What I'm saying is, um, he, he keeps on starting at bringing the, tr uh, the bug back. The bug was uh, freshly painted. Oh, gosh, is this this car again? I'm not talking about the car. <laughs> because Part of the fact is, when I went out there, the car, she beat me up and put, held me hostage. He stole $500 don't from me, and we almost died in the car. anymore. I care about kids. Mr. Rami, you know you got two kids out here in this world, but you know you need to be helping to support them, and you should and have do. been helping to and support them. And as I've said them. over and over again, you do. she took He's my children liar. to let Georgia. Let me have another keep... If somebody let me talk, they might learn something. <laughs> what I also get from you, though, is part of what you said today is true. Ms. Nazarene is difficult. And I have every right to but be... Wait. Did I ask you to let me finish? Yes.
Yes, ma'am. Thank you. She's difficult. But I'm a mother, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't wanna see the day that the father of my child tries to come up short for my baby. Hmm. It's not gonna happen. If there's anything that's gonna infuriate a mother, it's for somebody to give a mediocre effort when it comes to their kids. You gotta respect that. So her frustration and her hurt is that you can stand there looking as handsome and as smart as you can be and say, I never promised her anything. I'm a writer. And excuse my English, because I was an English major too, but I gotta break it down with a double negative. Don't nobody want to hear nothing that's a triple negative about writing when we're talking about money to help support And that's perfectly fine, kids. Judge, but at the same so, time, she Mr. took my Romney, children away. That's a lie. I've been so, successful at um, taking care of my children without your help. You need to be a father to your children. And if you're not going to be and you want to sit here and deny and play all these games with your children, that's why they're not here. That's what you need to know. Your children don't appreciate you standing there playing games when you know for a fact both of these are your children. Let's not be ridiculous, number one. Number two, I told you to keep it clean and don't lie. You've done Ms. nothing Nazarene, but lie. Ms. Nazarene, I do have to ask you because you brought them up. And they are old enough now to know. Do they feel that their father neglects them or do they feel like they would want to have more of a relationship if you two could possibly mm -hmm. just try to put your dislike for each other aside and let them have a moment? This is what I've heard from my children. My son, he just, in my opinion, doesn't feel like this man loves or cares for him or his sister. And then my daughter said she's embarrassed that her father refuses to work. She's embarrassed that he's a wannabe rapper almost 40. Him and I having a friendship, never gonna happen because he's a liar, he's a manipulator, and he thought that he was gonna come to my city where I was born and defame me. And listen, all you're doing is listen, making yourself you, you, like a you fool. You two don't have to be friends. I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's probably best for you two to have. Never, ever. I'm telling ever. you, very little to do with one another on a personal level. I do not see reconciliation in this picture. No. However, I do see two people who I know are intelligent enough to understand this. You have got to love the children more than you hate each other. I don't hate you him. You have to. I refuse and you to don't hate. even hate him. I refuse to hate him. He's a hater. Well, you He's have a to jealous love hater. the children more jealous. than you dislike him. I don't even really dislike the well, fact that Well, I'll give you another sentence. You gotta, look, look, look. Miss Nazarene, what I love with women like you is you gotta answer to everything I say and, and yet your situation ain't figured out. If you love the kids the way you say you do, stop no talking no and ifs. give them room so maybe this man will just spend some time with them and they can have a relationship. And he's never been denied that, so. so you that's, are that's, intelligent that's, that's your and you have children. You don't and have to keep barking and barking. Everybody knows you take I care of her. Raise your hand in this room if you don't think she took care of her kids by herself. Turn around. Turn around. Right. Who's raising their hand? Nobody. Because everybody in this room knows he didn't do anything. Yeah. But the problem is, is if he's ever going to do something, you have got to pipe down enough okay. to receive no, it. Can I, can I say this in my own defense? Yes. Let me say something in my own defense. We know that, you did In my own defense, this is the first time in 17 years that I've ever been face-to-face -face with this issue. So you can say that I'm ranting and this and that, but I'm getting out a 17-year story in one sitting. He plays to our son and tries to neglect our daughter and treats her crazy, okay? You were never, you never I, denied I, Messiah I, I, I've ever heard until enough today. And I'm ever. ready, I'm, I've heard enough and I'm ready to make my ruling. I really, I mean, I, I appreciate what you're saying. And like I said, I hear and feel the hurt. And a part of me feels like, um, I could just let you go on all day because I want you to get the rant out because when it's out, I want you to be able to leave it on the table so that he's heard everything you want him to know. And then I want you to look at him and say, when are you coming to see your kids? I texted him yesterday. That, this is what I'm saying. And then I want you, Mr. Rami, to answer definitively, when can you visit with your kids. As soon as possible. Okay. Which will probably happen tomorrow. And no, it's, it's gonna happen if I 
allow it. If so she you might want to make some arrangements. This is what I've had to deal with this whole oh, time. Oh, absolutely. Those are my children. That's what I've had to deal with the whole time. Oh, oh please. You're did a liar. You? I including those children phone calls. Miss Nazarene. Including phone calls. You need to stop your lying. I brought them to you every other Ms. weekend. Miss Nazarene. And food because you couldn't even feed if them. If you know this man, if you really ever knew him, you would know. And nothing you say bothers him. I mean, I am looking at it this man. Him. That's why he got it's, ulcers. He bothers it, it, him. Nothing it you're bothers saying him. is bothering him. I'm going to wrap this up because I can see right now this isn't about the kids. No, this isn't, this isn't about the kids. Good. This Sound isn't about good. the kids Sound because good. this is about condemning him to the point no, where not. the whole world feels like he's a piece of potato. And also, the, I want to suggest this. Let's get some order. This is not going to end today, and this is much deeper than this court can solve in this one session. Good. I want you to consider... Just like you may consider letting him see the kids tomorrow. That I would like you to come. But it can I be would... before the 28th when we leave. You can definitely see this. I and we, am my done family listening to the rant, Miss Nazarene. I'm telling I'm you the done. truth. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. I would like you all to consider, along with your kids, if they will do it. Family counseling in this court will provide the resource because my concern is, I don't live is that out of love and protection for your kids, you are doing the exact opposite of what you should be doing. You're angry and you're trying to protect them, but you're really pushing away the person that they've stated to you they do want a relationship with. You may not like him. He I might be not be paying the money. He, he may not be doing the right thing. But, Ms. Nazarene, there's more to being a father than just the money. If he just no, wants to see him and they want to see him. Georgia, he came to my home. He was in my home. He but, has my, he's I had every address that I've ever lived at. But can see them so. tomorrow? If he, if, if can he see them he tomorrow? He can see them tomorrow as long as I don't have to orchestrate it, as long as he takes the real sincere effort because I've been the Mr. one Romney, always Mr. making Romney, the arrangements, will always you, making will sure. Will you make that effort to see them tomorrow? Yes. Just, I, I don't care if the... Look, you're a writer, but don't write too much look, on the text. Just yes, say, tomorrow. Just That's say, what I want. Just say, hey, what time? That's it. <laughs> don't start an argument. I don't. Hey, what time? And then if you could just give him a time... Nothing else. And then you just say, I'll be there. And then I have my hat. be there. Can you do that? Yes. Can you do that? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.